Hi, I am Dr. Sharjeel and today I would like to start the B-Scan series and in our first video I would like to show you how to interpret the normal B-Scan printout in exam and how the normal B-Scan looks like here you can see the normal B-Scan and you can also see along with A-Scan spikes sometimes A-Scan will be displayed and sometimes not so you will say that this is b scan print out of the eye showing hypoechoic normal vitreous retina choroid and sclera are hyper echoic and looking normal and i can appreciate the optic disc and optic nerve as well and this is normal b scan of the eye now what is b scan it is two dimensional brightness scan similar to oct but instead of light b scan uses ultrasound waves that produces echoes upon striking the interface between acoustically different structures now mainly used in eyes with media opacities like corneal opacities dense cataract and dense vitreous hemorrhage to check the status of the retina choroid sclera optic nerve and other orbital structures now in the this is also a normal b scan now here the arrow points the location of the lens structures in front of the lens are visualized by ultrasound biomicroscopy ubm and structures behind the lens are visualized better by the b scan frequency is 10 to 20 megahertz now look at the size of the eye whether it is unusually large think of siliconized eyeball high myopia check the posterior staphyloma or very small in hypermetropia microphthalmia nanophthalmos then look at the vitreous any hyperechoic activity in the vitreous will be either vitreous vitreous hemorrhage it can be purely intragel subhalide then intraocular foreign body dropped nucleus dropped iol asteroid hyalosis we will discuss all these in detail in the next videos then go more posterior and you can see the reflective membrane in front of the retina now that can be posterior vitreous detachment or retinal detachment because a thick pvd can confuse you with retinal detachment so we will discuss later on how to differentiate the two in ideal b scan optic nerve is visible you can look at the optic disc for disc drusen disc cupping raised disc in disc edema then enlarged optic nerve in optic neuritis papilledema and optic nerve tumors you can see the retinal tumor like retinoblastoma with calcifications choroidal tumors like melanoma choroidal hemangioma then the kissing choroids choroidal detachment then the posterior scleritis with a characteristic t sign and enlarged extraocular muscles as well as the lacrimal gland tumors can be picked with b scan as well now white shadows are hyperechoic and black hypoechoic and if you are unable to diagnose the lesion accurately on b scan in the exam if you correctly tell the echogenicity and location in the eye examiner will pass you so that was all about the normal b scan and in the next we will discuss different pathologies thank you very much